I think we are ready to take a closer look at how the configuration interface works. In the previous video, we added custom new actions to a default configuration. Thereby, we created a user configuration, and it looked like this. The interface looked like this. So alone the fact that we added a new device call means that we got user configuration number one just right there. But the thing that, the, the, where we left was really that um, we found out that adding a change of auxiliary input our output on an ATEM switch when we press those two buttons uh, was quite a good idea. It, it worked out great. You see it in the interface right here. So as I'm scrolling down, you see those actions that we modified are right here. But the thing is that since this worked, I now want to spread it over to the next five buttons on the controller. So there is a clever way of doing that. And the thing is that, first of all, if you want to delete actions, you simply press the little minus icon here. So you can remove actions by the minus, and then notice that you have a copy action here. So what I'm going to do is press copy for the action on camera two, and now I'm, I have an insert icon on camera number three button. I press insert, so I'm basically copying that action down there. And all I need to do now is to set camera three, and also make sure that it's input source number three that gets <coughs> Uh, selected for the auxiliary output. And alone the fact that I changed those values means that this action got now copied into memory, meaning that when I press insert on the next one, it just inserted what I changed. So basically the flow is like this, insert, so camera four to five, input four, four to five, insert, in camera five to six, input five to six, insert, camera seven, and input seven. Done. This is how I have now co um, copied a successful configuration for one of these camera selection buttons uh, over to uh, the remaining five buttons on this panel. I can now save it, update the firmware, and if I had seven cameras for this ASIM switcher, it would work. So that was copy, paste, uh, insert in this context. There are a few other things you can do. You can, uh, just to make sure that you are aware of it, you can actually reorder actions by dragging them. You can also remove individual actions by, let me see if I can do this, dragging it down onto that um, field in the bottom of, th of the page. So um, those are the interaction types that you find in our configuration interface. <laughs>